Hello my YouTube friends. I talk a lot about setting up dynamic streams to entertain your audience. Today I'm going to add another piece to that. I want to show you how you can use AR, augmented reality, to add filters that change your scene or your face with masks and all kinds of other really cool stuff. So you can push just one button and get scenes like this. Thank you so much. You guys are just amazing. Or this. Wow, you guys are unbelievable. Thank you so much. And it's totally free. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. There are a few steps to this process today, but if you follow along, you're gonna be just fine. First, we're gonna install the AR app that's gonna add effects and some filters plug in so you can do even more. Second, we're gonna configure our AR app so we can get the masks and effects that we want and set the hotkeys. Third, we're gonna set up OBS to use our app and configure some scenes. Last, we're going to set up our OBS hotkeys and talk about what we can use all these cool scenes for. So let's download some software. The links, as usual, are in the description. First, we're going to install this snap camera. This is the virtual AR. And we're going to go to this page and click download. And it tells us a little bit of information about what you actually need to run this. So you can check this out. It's not super hard requirements or anything like that. You just have to check I agree and I am not a robot. And then you can download it for PC or Mac. In my case, I'm going to download it for PC. And there it is down in the bottom left. Then I just click on it here down in the bottom left and it opens up. All I have to do is click next. Next, and then next, and just keep clicking next all the way through the install. You can put the shortcut on your desktop if you like, and eventually it's going to install for you. And once it's done, it'll switch over and you can click finish and it'll launch snap camera if you leave that checked. Next, we're gonna install the shader filter. So we're gonna go and click go to download. And of course, these are all listed in the description below. This is gonna help us add some cool effects to our live stream. Once it's downloaded, you just double click on the zip file and it has an OBS Studio folder in here. We're going to go into that folder and we're just going to copy out the data and OBS plugins folders from here. And you just select them all and right click and select copy. Now, most people are going to have this directory, the OBS directory in their program files on C. I do not. I have it located somewhere else, but just so you know, it'll be in program files on your C drive for the most part. But mine is right here, OBS-Studio, so I'm gonna select it. And we see our folders there, so I'm gonna right click and go paste. And because I have this on my machine already, I'm gonna have to replace or skip some of this. But you won't have that problem. It'll just throw these filters right on your machine. So now we have the OBS shader filter on here. The last one is the Stream FX. I'm just gonna click go to download and we just scroll down here to the actual install file. I'm going to select this Windows one right here. And once this file's finished downloading, I could just click it and it brings up our install. And I'm gonna click run on this screen and then I'm going to accept the agreement and click next. Now I already have this on my machine, so I'm not actually gonna click install, but once you do, it'll just install this on your machine and you'll be all set and ready to go. That is the last piece that we need to install to set these up. Awesome. Let's set up the snap camera. In snap camera, the first thing we're gonna do is click this little gear in the top right hand corner. We wanna choose our camera. In my case, it's cam link. We also wanna choose our microphone and set our resolution up if there is a choice here. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. I'm gonna select my audio interface as cam link as well. And we can scroll down here and see these hotkeys and I'll go over that later. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and click back and our camera's still not showing up. That's kind of a pain. So what I'm gonna do is close out a snap camera and I'm gonna go down in my system tray and I'm gonna right click and quit that as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead down and I'm gonna right click on my taskbar and select task manager. Then I'm gonna scroll down here and find where my snap camera is. There it is. I'm gonna select it and click end task. And that completely exits us out of snap camera. Then I can double click on it. It'll open up and it will show with our camera. 
So there we go. Sometimes your camera will just automatically be in here, but if it's not, now you know the procedure to completely shut down Snap Camera to get it to come back up. Now we can click on any one of these and it loads up the filter. You can see the filters on the screen. There are hundreds of filters and you can even create your own. So I'm gonna go into hotkeys and I'm gonna make sure that my lens on and off key is set so that I can turn these lenses on and off just by clicking on the minus key. And let's just poke around and take a look and see what these look like. Some of them are just little pieces of stuff that they put on your face. Some of them are actually faces, which is really, really cool. Some of them also even have extra actions. So there's a hotkey that you can use to perform those extra actions. This one right here, for example, if I click the hotkey, I can remove the glasses or put them back on my face. <laughs> And I could make some really stupid faces too. And you can see it's really kind of cool because it gives me this not tanned outline around my eyes. I really like how that works. Now, a lot of these are hit and miss and most of them are actually created by other users. You can see some of them will actually put in a completely different background as well. So that was the summer collection. Here's the work and study collection. Ooh, nice. There we go. And this one also has the hot key that'll remove the glasses if I want. Oh, this one's really sweet. You can see these work pretty well even when I turn my face all the way to the side. So you can go through here and you can select from all kinds of different ones. And once you pick out a couple that you actually want to use, I like this alien one, it's pretty fun. And you can get some like this too where I'm just uh, talking potato or something. And the action key, puts a green screen behind you. So you can actually put your own background in there if you want. So when you find one you like, there we go. Now I'm Mr. Banana and I like that one well enough. All you have to do is mouse over the filter that you like and click this little star button and that'll save it up here into the top left hand corner. Now if I go up into the top left hand corner, it shows all of my favorites saved up here and we're gonna use that in conjunction with these hotkeys but the number minus hotkey is going to turn our lens on and off. And then the trigger lens effect is going to add that extra special little feature like removing the glasses on some of them. But a lot of them have some really cool extra triggers. Then if we go back up here into favorites, we can click on the top right here and this shows us our hotkeys for each of these. So we can select the filter and put a new hotkey in there and just click save. And now all of our filters have hotkeys. And that's exactly how you're going to set up Snap Camera. The next step, we gotta make it work in OBS. Here in OBS, I'm just gonna rename this scene right here. We're gonna use nested scenes. If you've never used it, you'll understand a lot more about it when we're done. So I'm gonna name it N-Camera. Then I'm gonna click the plus under sources and I'm gonna add a video capture device and I'm just gonna call this one camera and click OK. We're gonna drop that device down and we're gonna select this snap camera. And there we go. There's the banana guy again. And I'm gonna change default to custom and select my resolution 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna go down here and select use custom audio device and make sure that the microphone I'm using is selected. Then I'm gonna click okay. And there we go. Mr. Banana's all good. I can click that lens hotkey and turn it off. Now I'm gonna go down in the bottom left under scenes and I'm gonna add a new scene. We're gonna call this scene donations and I'm gonna click okay. And now under sources, I'm gonna click the plus and we're going to go to source source mirror. Now source mirror won't be in your selections if you didn't install stream FX properly. So if you don't see stream FX up at the top, that's why you don't see source mirror. So go back to the install section and try it again. So we're going to install our source mirror and I'm going to call this Don mirror for donation mirror and I'm going to click OK. Now we can select our source, which is going to be that camera from that scene. There we go. The camera source. We're going to enable the audio here and click OK. Enabling the audio is going to become important. Right here, I actually mute and hide the wrong audio. We don't really want the camera audio, but you'll see what I'm talking about later. Now, if I hit a hotkey, this is the mask that we're going to use for the donations. So I'm going to right click on Don Mirror, go into a filters, and then I'm going to select a user defined shader. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load the shader from a text file and click browse. And I'm gonna scroll down here, and the shader that I want is going to actually darken the edges of the screen. And it's called the vignetting shader. I'm just gonna click open, and there we go. So you can see the edges of the screen there are a little dark, kind of looks almost tunnel-like. I can select use shader inputs, 
if I want, but this is pretty much exactly how I want it to be. So I'm just gonna click close. And now we can see we've got our mask. We've got a little bit of a vignette on there. I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to media source. I'm gonna call this media source hearts and I'm gonna click okay. Now I do have a video where I show you how to make this hearts overlay. You can click that link right at the top of the screen. But if you just wanna download it, there is a link in the description down below for you to download the little hearts overlay. I'm just gonna click browse and browse to the hearts overlay and select it click open then I'm going to select loop because it's not a very long clip and click OK and there we go now we have our hearts I'm gonna drag those over so they are backwards then I'm gonna go down into sources and right click and select copy and I'm gonna right click under sources again and select paste referenced now we have two of it so what I'm gonna do is just right click on one of them go to transform and we're going to reset the transform. So now we have the hearts on both sides. Looking pretty good. Look at those eyelashes, wow. Now I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna select media source once again. In this case, I'm gonna call it love and click okay. And now I'm gonna select an audio file that's gonna play when this scene is active. So I just need to go ahead and click browse, find the audio source that I'm looking for. In this case, it's some love music and I just select it, click open. I wanna loop it because it's not very long and then just click okay and there we go. If we scroll down and take a look in our audio mixer, you can see that we have it located here. I'm just gonna hide the hearts audio because the hearts actual overlay doesn't have any audio. Then I'm just going to adjust the volume on love. Then I'm gonna right click on Don Mirror and go to filters. I'm gonna click the plus under audio filters and I'm gonna select VST.2 plugin and click okay. Now, just for a moment, I wanna tell you that if you're interested in doing this, this is a plugin that will change my voice. I'm not going to go over how to install this or do any of it right here. I'm gonna show you how to create the voice I make. But if you wanna know more about VST and voice changer plugins, there's a link at the top of the screen so you can go check Check that video out. In this case, I'm just going to drop this down, select G form, and then open up the plugin. And I can adjust my pitch up and the format up a little bit. I want my min frequency low and my max frequency high. And there we go. Now we can't actually hear it because we don't have this being monitored just yet. So what I'm gonna do is close this out and click close once again down here. And we're gonna go and adjust our audio preferences so we can actually hear this. But in order to do that, the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and put some head phones in because if it plays through our speakers it's going to feed back into our microphone and cause all kinds of problems now that we've got some headphones in let's right click and go to advanced properties then I'm gonna go to camera which is actually the wrong one but we're gonna select monitor and output so I can hear myself and then we're gonna go to love and we're gonna drop that down and select monitor and output so we can hear our music very nice so the next thing that I want to do is just adjust the music And now I'm gonna go into filters and play with my VST to get the voice right. And as you can hear, it's not adjusting well, my hello. voice. And the reason is because I'm actually playing it through the wrong source. We're not adjusting audio from our camera source. We are actually wanting to adjust the audio source for Don Mirror. So what I'm gonna do is go back in here I'm gonna turn the monitor and output off on camera, and I'm going to turn it on for Don Mirror. Then, I'm gonna go down here in the audio mixer and mute camera, unhide all of the things, and make sure that the Don Mirror is going. And then I'm gonna hide the camera and the hearts one, because we don't need them and they're both muted. Now let's go back into filters and all we have to do is click open the plugin interface. So we can make our voice super pitchy, high. And in the format, the more towards the center, the more natural it's gonna sound. So if I move this to the center, it's obviously my regular voice. Pitch out. Adjust the format. There we go. Now we can have a girly voice. How's that? Not too bad. We'll adjust that format just a little bit. 
and that still sounds pretty natural and I can hear it in my ears. That's what we're looking for. So. Once we're done adjusting that properly, we're gonna go ahead and close it. I'm gonna go in and turn my monitors off and click close. And that is it. That's all there is to setting up one of these scenes. If you wanna know more about creating these scenes, at the end of the video, I have a link where we're going to show you how to use all kinds of other filters to create scenes just like this. We're almost there. Now let's put it all together. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is add another scene here and we're gonna call this one main. I'm gonna rename it, there we go. And all I'm gonna do here is go ahead and use that mirrored source again by clicking the plus and going to mirrored source. And we're gonna call this one main mirror and I'm gonna click OK. Then I'm gonna select my source once again. It's the camera source and click OK. And we can just turn that off using the minus key. And there we go. So now we have our main scene and we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna set up our hotkeys. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up my snap camera so I can take a look at what hotkeys we need to set up. So if I click the gear here, I wanna set up this turn off lens hotkey to the minus, which I already have it set up. So I'm gonna set my main switch to scene to minus. So every time we switch to the main scene, it turns off all of our lenses. Then I'm gonna go ahead and find our donation one. And it must be up higher. There we go. And we wanna change the switch to scene to, let's check which one it is. The hot key is the number key three. So we can switch that lens on with num key three. Now we're gonna to switch to the scene using the exact same hotkey. So now when we use that hotkey, it turns on the lens and switches us to the scene that we want. I can just switch it off and go back to the main scene by clicking minus. I'm pretty sure that you can see all of the amazing benefits to this. You can actually set these up to work to be your alerts. And in the future, I'm going to show you a video where we can actually set up a widget that's going to change to these scenes for you automatically and then change back. So be sure to subscribe because that one's coming up. That is so epic. I absolutely love this app. If you want to see more about shader filters I used here, you should definitely check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.